All right, Gracie Mag, the sequence C of this whole move that you're doing is gonna be a very, very common situation. His underhook is gonna to go towards the belt. Or even if the belt is loose or anything, the underhook is gonna be kind of towards your hip area, not towards the shoulder. That's a very common thing. I still gonna hide that arm right here. Okay, I'm still gonna do it. And I'm still gonna hide that leg. Okay, but the situation right now is that he's gonna have a better posture. So I'm not gonna be able to have, ah, look gonna have a problem. So when that happens, retreat, but don't post your leg off. Retreat and keep your knee on the ground. And now we're gonna be doing a really surprise move. Because he's thinking that that's where you at, like this kind of thing right here. He forgets a lot about that arm right there. The arm of the underhook. So I'm being really successful with a sneak attack, this one. Surprises the guy a lot. It can be a little tri uh, risky, but in training, I definitely recommend you guys to try it out. So I move, here I am on that thing, and then eventually I turn into that arm. That hand grabs on the wrist. So I try really quick, one, two, here I am. With that, when I go here, doesn't matter if he holds tight, because I'm always gonna be able to reach my wrist right there. And then here, guys, it gets really awkward. There's two basic situations that can happen. That's the guy who kind of wants to try to go to your back or try to stretch that arm. And that's the guy who's gonna try to go in his back to defend the Kimura. If that's the first case, he tries to go to your back or something, try to go to my back. Look, stop him with that arm right there. He's gonna fall right where? Right inside your close guard of the arm trap. So even if he holds it there, just make sure you hide his wrist on his back and you use your free leg to put some pressure in here. And now we have a really tight Kimura. And this is like a very basic concept because if you put in the pressure and he doesn't want to tap, what's going to happen? I'm going to finish on the mount position. So if he doesn't tap, I'm just going to finish on the mount position. So I go, instead of passing the guard, I go straight to mount. This is first one scenario. The second one scenario is going to be the Kimura, but he's going to try to go back. Yes. I'm gonna hide it, I'm gonna be on my knees this time, remember? I'm gonna be doing that thing right there. He exposes, I go one, two, I hold it. Again, even if it's tight here, make sure that you lift the elbow and you always lock on the triceps, I showed that before. Locking that arm on the shoulder is really poor, he stretches, I'm gonna lock on the triceps. But now, he tends to go back, look. If I don't do anything, he's gonna finish here on the back like Sakuraba. But I know that he's going to do that. So whenever I lock, I feel he's going back. Look, horse kick and step on the outside. Right here. When you do the horse kick and you step on the outside, you're going to finish either on the half guard or sometimes even on side control. Both ways, right here, what you're going to do is that the most important thing is to be heavy and hide his wrist on his back. So lift, hide. Doesn't matter if side control or um, half guard, and then boom, you finish from here, all right? So the whole idea is not trying to finish from here. You lift, high, then you do what you gotta do, okay? These are the two ways. Hide it, try here, one, two. Try to go on top, one, two, lift, finish. That like putting the pressure, hip out, boom. Classical way to finish. The Kimura right here. Number two, he's gonna be trying to go backwards. I follow him to half guard or to side control. So here I am, I'm gonna hide it, all that good stuff. One, look, look, jump over. That right leg has to be right here. That's a bunch of different scenarios. Half guard, side control, but doesn't really matter. As long as you follow the principle of hiding the wrist on the back, and finish from here. All right, Gracie May, I hope you like that series of techniques. If you wanna get way more techniques in all kinds of different scenarios of Jiu Jitsu, pretty much, can Encyclopedia Jiu Jitsu go to draculinobjjtraining.com. It's a great website, three different angles. Nobody has done that so far. I definitely recommend it's gonna be a really good supplemental tool for your game. 
Again, draculinobjjtraining.com or just draculino.com will get you there. Thank you.